So, I have my Samsung Tab S4, and I love working on this thing. I really love connecting it to my TV and using DeX. So, what I have is big TV and an insignia. If you're familiar with Best Buy, you know where I get that. That has an HDMI, a spot for a USB-C, and a USB connection. So, if you notice the USB, I have a Logitech um, receiver in there. And I'll show you why in a minute. So, when I connect this... Okay, you gotta find the hole, buddy. Okay, what's awesome is, so it's supposedly charging, but DeX automatically comes up, okay, focus, on the TV screen. Now, if you notice that little message, it says that uh, to use premium accessories, get a DeX, I'm like, I've looked for them, they don't really sell them specifically for the Samsung Tab S4. Okay, so here's the cool thing. You got you got it showing up on the TV. You got your your Android option here. You got your keyboard. Now how do you control it up there? Well you pull down right here and right here it says focus Dex use tablet as touchpad. Bam! Oh, you can see me now. So, I've enabled it so it's like a touchpad. Focus. Okay. Now, I'm going to hit the little search button and you can see the apps. Using the touchpad, using the screen as a touchpad. And let's just go ahead and open something up. Well, we already have YouTube down here. Bam. What's really cool is you see you have almost a browser like YouTube experience in terms of you can have it in a smaller window. So I'm going to just pick something. Pixel site review. Oh, there we go. Skip the ad. So you see, I'm using my screen as my touchpad. So this works really cool. But I, don't, but I find that most people are like me. And they don't use it with that thing on. So let's turn that off. And you can see I still got touchpad I still have the touchpad capability, but you know, it's daylight. I got the, the blackened curtains, so it's dark in here. So it's almost like it's night. All right, so right now I could kind of see the keys, but you can't really see them that well. So I found a better alternative, and hence this is why I have the Logitech dongle that's already paired with the keyboard. So I'll put it in pause a second. Okay, so put the, put the tablet over there, and I have this guy on my lap. I switch it on in the corner, and guess what? Illumination. This is the best keyboard. This is the Logitech 830, K830. It's nice, it's illuminated. I love this right here. It has Focus. So we have a home button. Hit the home button twice. We got a back button. Back. Okay. We have a recent apps button. <laughs> no running apps. Okay, so let's open some up. 
Now right, we got the touch pad right here, so I'm gonna use the touch pad. All right, now let's let's talk about this. Okay, what am I doing with this at this point? I'm gonna turn the screen off. And I'm gonna fold it down. So I'm gonna conserve power. You see it shows that it's charging down there at the bottom. Yeah, I already had 100% because I had it charging all night. Focus. This sucks. Maybe I should get the S10. Well, I love my Note 9 to a point. So, back here, touchpad illuminates. All right, so let's open some things. Um, that, that. You notice how quickly I'm just clicking on stuff to open. <laughs> Look at all these windows, okay? Now, I want to hit the home button, and they all disappeared. Let's hit the home button again. See that? So it's like, show desktop, show me apps. Show me apps. All right, show desktop. Now, I'm going to hit the recent apps button. That is to the right on the keyboard. Oh, look at that. So, that's the other beautiful thing about this keyboard. is Not, as, not only is it illuminated, but it has those nice little home, back, recent app keys. It has, it's a Windows keyboard. So, I use this with my Windows computer. Uh, if, if I want to sit at my recliner and not at the desk, which my knee's been sore, so that is very helpful to project my computer to my TV screen. However, this is using my Samsung Tab S4, which is in a clamshell. Er, focus right there. While the Dex is running on the screen with the, the best illuminated keyboard. All right, so this is. You know, it's it's like the best thing to happen. Okay, now this is what I wanted to see. Even with it in a clamshell configuration, I've still lost one percent. Now I'm using the Samsung um, USB-C uh, to power it. So I'm just letting you know that it's not going to power it with using the US uh, the HDMI and the Logitech dongle. It's not going to give you unlimited power. It eventually is going to run out of power. But you should be able to still get about eight hours out of it uh, because you do have a power source connected. So I hope that uh, helped you uh, see what you could do with the Samsung Tab S4 um, using DeX in an external display, whether that be a TV or a, uh, another monitor. I have access to all my notifications right here. Now on the truck. Yeah. Nice Amazon. Okay. CNBC. Oh. And you see it just opens so quickly. I'm not speeding this up at all. It just opens nicely. Oh, watch this. Two finger drag and scroll. Oh, nice. It's not working. <laughs> Okay, maybe there's nothing to drag and scroll there. So let's bring up something there is. This, I know there is. So, two finger up, two finger down. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, this, this keyboard has um, volume keys to the, to the right above the touchpad. Um, now, I got frustrated last night because I was trying to use my keyboard and it wasn't lighting up. All right, it does have a battery. What, a battery? But it uses a micro USB to charge it. Not too close. Anyways, that's micro USB. It's not a USB-C, it's a micro USB. So I connected last night to my uh, computer uh, USB dock to charge it overnight and it works and is lit up. It also has a sensing over 
So the sensing over here uh, will detect light and it's supposed to not allow the keys to illuminate but you know you see I turn the light back on and then put my hand over it and it still lights up. So I don't know if that works or not. But it's pretty cool that all you have to do is charge it. Now I want to show you something else. Okay. On the screen, I'm going to hit Alt-Tab, and it works just like in Windows. You can switch between apps, okay? Um, also, let's say you want to go, um, the Windows button will bring up the app, launch, uh, app launcher or whatever, you know, your app drawer. And then I can just start typing. Um, now, what's interesting is it doesn't recognize the first letter that I typed. Let's try that again. So, Windows button. See, I already hit G. I have to hit the first letter twice. Not that big a deal, but didn't realize I wasn't focused. That sucks. Anyways, uh, so hopefully you guys you like this video. This is how to use a keyboard that you can see in the dark with your Windows computer or your this is not focused.